fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your love for the support for your time i really appreciate much but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the mistakes to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage <laughs> so this video is special for those ladies who always write to me that bella i am looking for a white man for marriage i'm interested in getting married to a white man i know you guys need help and that is why i am here guys to give you guidance advice and also guys if you are chatting with a white man you're just getting started this video is going to be very helpful to you so that you can be aware of these mistakes and avoid them <laughs> Mistake number one to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is looking for a white man while dating someone else. We imagine this someone else is not a white man, but you are just playing with the feelings of this man that you are dating right now because maybe he is giving you money and you don't want to lose that money, but your real intention is to get married to a white man so you look for a white man and then start dating meaning you are dating two people first of all guys it's not fair why should you do that second it's a risky game if the man that you are dating comes to know we don't know how he is going to react about it and another thing is that if a white man comes to know that you are dating someone else that is the end of you no matter how you will tell him that you were not serious with that man that you were dating no matter how you tell him that you never loved the man that you were dating he is not going to understand you so if this white man was really a husband material you are going to lose him what i am advising you guys it's better to finish the relationship that you are having if you're not sure of it or if you know it's not what you want end it after you have ended the relationship then start looking for that white man that you want but not dating two people at the same time it's a very risky game and trust me guys you will lose this white man Mistake number two to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is lies. Never tell lies, guys. Always be honest with yourself and with the person that you want to date. Remember, guys, the truth sets someone free. So be honest from the beginning of your relationship. I know guys sometimes some of us ladies have passed through a very rough path in the past relationships which may be led to an expected pregnancy or a guy got you pregnant and you thought he was going to be your husband the father of your kid but in the end this man abandons you so if you are looking for a white man for marriage be open don't keep your kid as a secret or don't tell lies to this white man that I don't have kids, I never had kids. While you have kids, there is no need for you to tell lies. Just be honest, tell him everything, tell him about your kids, cause if you keep it a secret and he comes to know later that you told him lies, you had kids, but you did not tell him, or you had kids, and you told him lies that oh i never had kids first of all it is going to be a very very big shock to him and he will never ever trust you anymore because if you could keep that secret or if you could tell him that lie it means that you can lie even other things 
it means even the whole relationship it's a lie so to avoid all that be honest from the beginning of your relationship don't wait so long until you tell this man that you have kids tell him from the start mistake number three to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is not to be rude i remember there is one of my video i told you that you shouldn't be too nice to men or to white men but that shouldn't make you rude <laughs> i don't know if you understand me don't be too available don't be too nice but don't be rude guys because no matter how beautiful you are if you are rude you will never find that white man that you are looking for so it's better to be kind answer people in a kind way because you will never know when the snake is pregnant <laughs> maybe that man that you are answering very rudely <laughs> might be your husband <laughs> so you shouldn't be, be rude if you have a very strong character please try to control yourself answer people in a very kind way be very sweet the way you talk the way you chat with these men chat to these men if you think a man is fake if you think this man you don't like him there is no need to answer a man in a rude way just answer him in a very kind way to, to make him understand that you are not interested or to make him understand that what he is trying to do is not okay he is fake don't choose to be so rude when you are chatting to these men because rudeness will never take you anywhere mistake number four to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is not to be ready to take the challenges that comes your way guys <laughs> life is full of challenges we should always be ready to take these challenges searching for a white man for marriage it's not easy i always say that it's not going to be easy looking for a white man on the dating sites it's not easy but it's not impossible it's possible a lot of people have found love online and if you consider you getting married to a white man is your dream then you shouldn't give up because if you give up it means that you will never achieve your dream it means that you are giving up on your dream it should come within you <laughs> to keep going <laughs> until you get what you want because it's you who knows why you are looking for a white man for marriage so please don't give up keep searching it's not easy i repeat it's not easy it's going to be very difficult it might take you a very short period of time it might take you very long you might go through a lot of challenges men asking you nude photos men ghosting on you <laughs> but this shouldn't stop you you should keep going <laughs> keep searching until you find him number two guys we take an example that you have found this white man and everything is going good that you are dating the man is good but that doesn't mean that everything is going to be very smoothly there is a challenge of a long distance relationship you should be ready for that <laughs> <laughs> there is another challenge of visa process when you start the visa process sometimes it can be a very big challenge guys so you should be someone who is really strong who is ready to take the challenges like i said life is full of challenges we have seen how covid have disturbed the whole world and it is still disturbing Imagine those couples who just met when the COVID situation started and it has been so hard for them to meet because of COVID. If you are one of those couples who just met before the COVID situation 
and you have been going through these challenges of COVID because you cannot meet and you are not strong, it, it means that that relationship is finished because you are not strong, you cannot take the challenges. Nobody knew that COVID will come, but see. <laughs> so we should always be ready to take the challenges, guys. When you are looking for a white man for marriage or in life, guys, generally. Mistake number five to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is to never attach yourself emotionally to a white man that you are just starting to chat with. I did a story time about this, but I'm repeating it again because it's so important, guys. And a lot of women are doing this mistake and they don't know how to get out of it because they are already in it. So don't attach yourself emotionally to this man that you don't know anything about. You have just started chatting. You don't know him very well. You don't even know if he is in his adventure. <laughs> and he is just lying to you, just passing time. Then you fall in love with this man. Don't do this mistake. I always advise you that before you trust a white man that you have met online, you should at least see how much effort this man is putting into your relationship. How this man really wants you. Does this man bother to invite you, not in words, send you the document and be in action? Is this man doing that? not sending you an engagement ring because there is this style that is going on. White men are sending engagement rings to Africa <laughs> to engage women. First of all, guys, as for me, it's not a very good sign because it shows like possession. Someone is trying to, to possess you. <laughs> yes, it might be good at some at some point guys but it does not give me a very good impression so don't start trusting this man because he has sent you an engagement ring no this man should be ready to invite you so that you can see his real life <laughs> and engage you when you are there don't rush to introduce him to your parents before this man has made an effort to assure you that he is really the one that he wants you he wants to marry you because a lot of ladies have been making this mistake you are chatting with a guy he sends you an engagement ring then he is your fiance already you really love him so much but remember you don't know the real life of this man the bad thing with internet dating i'm making a video about it someone asked the disadvantages and advantages of internet dating some of it is the person that you're chatting with you really don't know the reality of this person until you meet him and not this man coming to your country you take him to introduce to your parents before you know this man very well what i advise you is meet this man yes get to know him yes in your country if he comes <laughs> be careful about giving the goodies then go visit this man get to know the real life of this man at least then you can go ahead introduce him you can go ahead and attach yourself emotionally to this man but attaching yourself just because this man is writing you sweet words <laughs> is promising you the world is sending you an engagement ring my dear sister you are going to cry that is not a guarantee that this man is the one so be very wise don't attach yourself emotionally to these white men that you meet online mistake number six to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage i take an example 
you are a lady who always wanted to get married to a white man so it's your dream and the way you can meet these white men one of it is joining the dating apps so you join the dating app you start chatting with different men but you also start telling your friends everyone around you that you're online dating looking for a white man for marriage this is a very big mistake why am i saying this first of all you don't know the friends that you are sharing this information with how they are going to react about it some of them might tell you that online dating does not work online dating is a scam but in real sense these friends have never even tried online dating but because they have a very bad feeling about online dating due to the stories due to the horror stories that they have had before they are going to warn you they are going to discourage you not to stay online to look for a white man for marriage so you will not achieve what you want you might end halfway number two <laughs> reason number two why i am saying that you shouldn't tell everyone around you that you are online looking for love looking for a white man for marriage is that some of the friends might be even jealousy about it <laughs> they are happy to see you single so they are going to do everything that they can to discourage you and stop you from looking for a white man for marriage because <laughs> they are jealousy they want to see you single number three when you tell everyone that you are online dating site and it takes you so long to find this white man that you are looking for then these friends that have been telling you they'll be telling you like you see we told you it does not work it's a wastage of time <laughs> it's like putting a lot of obstacles on your way remember when you are looking for a white man for marriage it should be you it's you who wants this man it's you who wants to get married to a white man not your friends not your parents not your sisters not your brothers it's you so i think it's better to do this alone alone guys and i know god is going to hear your prayers <laughs> you will find him and when you find him yes that is the time you can tell everyone that i met this man online happily guys <laughs> but if you tell them before it means that some people might bring you down so you really need to be very careful do this thing for yourself only you if you need help if you need advice ask from people who have experience people who have gone through the same journey they know what they are telling you if these people are telling you you will find the one it means that you're going to find the one if these people are telling you keep searching then it means that you should keep searching because they have the experience so look for advice from people like those people with experience there is a lot of people who give advice guidance on this online dating thing or on this looking for a white man for a relationship or for marriage watch videos on youtube like this one and you will get help but but don't tell everyone that you are looking for a white man for marriage mistake number seven to avoid when looking for a white man for marriage is avoid social media comparison I take an example you are chatting with a man who might be a very good husband but this man does not have the lifestyle that you see on social media interracial couple meaning luxury lifestyle then you ignore this man you refuse him and you tell yourself I'll keep on searching until I get until I get one that is the same as the one i saw on social media dear sister you will keep searching and keep hoping that man will never come to you 
most ladies that have got married to rich men like rich 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 men <laughs> I'm not saying all it doesn't mean that those women were looking at the social media couples and phone a rich white man not at all it was just for luck some of them others maybe they have their own way of how they found those rich men so there is no need for you to copy them because not everything that we see on social media is real people fake I'm not blaming anyone to fake life if it makes you happy then do it <laughs> you who is looking at these couples that have got luxury lifestyle as an inspiration you are doing it wrong pray to God to bring a man who will love you truly pray to God to help you find true love then other things will follow guys other things will follow stop comparing it will not help you so friends we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching thank you for your time for the support god bless you and if you've liked this video you think it is very helpful share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something don't forget to comment below what you think about this video i will really appreciate your comment <laughs> don't forget to subscribe watch my other videos too they are so good <laughs> until next time guys you are always here in my heart ciao ciao